you guys are a few practices in, just how you feel the offense is gelling and how you feel things have gone thus far? Oh, um, exactly how I expected. You know, um, we're a super explosive offense. Everyone is doing really well. Um, when guys are, you know, down or whatever, we have guy, we have depth. Um, like even our walk-ons, um, Nick Thomas, uh, Luna, Marty, I mean, all those guys, those guys are, you know, busting their tails every single day. Any opportunity they get, they're taking advantage of. X, after the first practice on Wednesday, Cam Ward told us that the defense was up 1-0, and that they took the first day. How do you feel uh, the second and third practice gone in terms of the offense responding? For sure. I mean, we're going back and forth, you know. Um, I mean, it's like a couple plays here and there that just, you know, ruin our entire offensive motto for the day. But then we jump right back on it. You know, we have short-term memory. Um, I mean, if we were whooping the defense every single day, there'd be something wrong, you know. So, uh, again, there we have great guys all over the field, um, great guys on the sideline as well, um, including the coaches and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, we have a big year loading. And, you know, obviously you go with the secondary, a lot of new faces there, either guys who didn't play much the last couple of years or transferred in or a freshman. What have been your early impressions of them? Oh, I mean, everyone's just running around the field. This is one of the best, you know, incoming groups I've ever seen. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, nothing more to say, you know. Um, the guys are flying around, making plays on both sides of the ball, um, giving us really good competition, really good looks, and uh, we'll be we'll be ready. You've been going against, you've been going against uh, Demario a lot, because I think uh, Coach Gidry said he'd be in the nickel a lot. So have you been facing up against him? Yeah, I mean, th they rotate guys every day, you know. I'm going against everyone. Um, Demario's a great player, and so is, you know, everyone that lines up in the nickel, giving me uh, great work every single day. With Sam Brown, um, talk about the dimension he adds, and tell us about how Sam, you, and Jacoby maybe are different types of receivers, and how you know that can help you guys. For sure, I mean Sam, just like Jacoby, just like Isaiah, just like Nah, Chance, all those guys, JoJo, they're all different types of receivers, and they bring something to the game. Um, they're every every single one of them is unique, you know. Uh, I mean, every single one of them, you know, comes every single day to work. Uh, this is what I call work and you know just gives their all and that's what i love the most about them i respect those guys a lot and um can't can't wait to play next to those guys all season for and sam for those that haven't seen him play like what are the strengths of his game would you would you say i mean he, he's a full receiver you know he could uh, make 50 50 catches he could burn a defense off he has great hands great routes um great great athlete for you last season uh just any extra sense of motivation for you to want to see this get over the hump after seeing things start to trend over the last couple of years yeah, I mean, um, not so much looking forward to, you know, the seasons so much. We still have, you know, it's only our third day of camp, you know, so we're just ready for Canes Fest tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a great opportunity. Fans come out, get to see us work and stuff like that. Um, and But most importantly, we get another day of work, you know. Um, we get, we, again, we get another day of work. We don't have to come here. Um, and I feel like that's everyone's mindset. I feel like that's why we're such a good team right now. And just for you, uh, just what advice you've been giving to the incoming freshmen? Just what's the biggest piece of advice you give to them, and what's the biggest thing that piece of advice that you got when you stepped foot on campus? For sure. Um, so our leadership council actually meets um, with Dr. Elko. He is a great, great, great leadership guy. He come. He came from a whole bunch of you know prestigious colleges, and he basically put this thing in and said, "Match me." You know, so that's really what I'm bringing to the table every single day. It matched me. Um, I came out here a little excited today. You know, we have pads on um, and said, I'm going to be the thermostat. You know, everybody matched me. Um, and, I mean, our receivers kicked butt today. Our offense kicked butt today. Defense kicked butt today. I mean, everyone is just super high intensity, super high effort. And, I mean, even in special teams period is, you know, that that's where you can tell a team's DNA, you know. And, um I mean, I make sure I'm the first one in line, you know, lean by example, basically. And uh, yeah, just set, setting the tone and again, being that thermostat. About how many players are on the leadership council? Right now, there's about like eight, eight to 10. Um, but again, a lot of guys, we want the whole team to be a leadership council, you know, um, yeah. because even um, Nick Thomas, one of the walk-ons of slots, um, today I have my helmet off during walkthrough. He said, hey, X, put your helmet on. Of course, let's do it, you know? Um, and I have total respect for that guy because um, coming in, you know, knowing that, you know, I'm the, the guy at the slot um, right now, him to be able to tell me that is, you know, takes some courage, you know, and I have unlimited respect for the kid. And the last for X.